Gary Silo, Golden Motor Canada. Here we have two 24 inch Golden Motor wheels. They're for wheelchairs and a joystick. And you can see in between the joystick and the two wheels, there's two plastic bags. Those have Anderson plugs. And those Anderson plugs are to go on the wires that are coming from the wheels. So this is just a quick little tutorial to show you how to do that. You can see when you're hooking it up here, the uh, wires are cut off. They're all different lengths. So the first thing you want to do is you want to clean those off, make them all the same length so they'll fit in the plug properly. So of course most people would use wire cutters, proper wire cutter for this, but I like just using a pair of pliers. Now these four wires, there's two thick ones, the red and the black. That's the positive and negative for the motor. And then there's two thin ones. They're both the same color, they're red. Those are the directional controls. So it's quite easy to tell which one the red and black are for connecting to the motor, but the two small thin red ones for directional, you have to experiment to get those in the plug properly. But we'll get to that later. So now the four plugs, or the four wires are all bared off, about the same length. And we just slide the first pin on, you take your crimping tool, give it a squeeze, give it another squeeze. I find it fits best in the connector if you squeeze it in this orientation. It's a little bit of a struggle getting it in there. Once you get it lined up properly, it's easier to rest it on a hard surface and just push the pin right through until you click. And now the pin is in, it's locked in place nicely. The hook has to come over the metal plate that's inside the connector. Now we're on to the next one. Sometimes it's easy to hold the pin, easier just to hold the pin inside the grips and then insert the wire into it. This one I'm just noticing I'm crimping it in the opposite direction I crimped the last one. I think the other direction is better, but you could experiment. As long as it fits in the plug properly, that's what counts. So it's crimped on now. It's going in the other white connector. These are the two thin red wires I'm doing first. Just push it down inside. Sometimes it's a bit of a struggle. Some people use a metal probe from an electrical meter for this. All right, that one's in. So now I've just skipped ahead here. We have all four plugs hooked up. And instead of putting the four plugs in the black holder there, I'm just going to plug them in individually one at a time. Just have to test first to see if the two white plugs will be in the right orientation. The red and black, we know they're correct. But once you get the white ones in, if you put the, if you turn the wheel on and it's turning in the direction opposite desired, then you'll have to unplug these two white plugs and reverse them and plug them back in again. And then once you get the orientation correct, you can pull them back out again and keeping the proper orientation, they all slide together on the sides and lock in place. And then you put the black plug over it and you can lock it in and everything's done nicely. I believe I have the orientation correct here. I'm just going to do a little test. I have the right wheel on the right, of course, and the left wheel on the left. The joystick is facing forward. And I'm just going to push the joystick forward with my foot and we'll see which way the wheels turn. I believe this is the correct orientation for forward. And now we're going to pull it back and go in reverse. And everything's done. Gary Salo, Golden Motor Canada.